Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Right now, for some of you, you definitely have this energy of like a bully that is, you know, around you at this point. Hesitation is here. Let's see. Hesitation. And behind it is illness. All right. So somebody here, um, some of you have a person that could be suffering. And I want to illness here. I get mental health issues where somebody here um, could be dealing with some type of mental health issues right now. Someone here, this could be like split personality. And that was kind of what was in the reading before about this very karmic, distorted like energy. Someone here could... With bully hesitation and illness, someone's mind is telling them that they need to perhaps um, attack you in some type of way. And they're not, they don't listen to their better judgment, which is, you know, perhaps you need to really leave that person alone. Someone here is constantly going, following through with, you know, this, this plot, this plan or this strategy to... To, to hurt you, to harm you, or someone that you know. Um, it's like all eyes and focus is on you. Somebody here just does not want to leave you alone. Someone could be projecting a, like mental health issues onto you as well. This could for sure be like some type of crown chakra magic or manipulation that is happening where someone wants you to have a weakness of your own mind and will. So be very careful of that. Um, you know, narcissism is, is a disease as well. Like, this is a lot of people who are extremely narcissistic, who are projecting a lot of their own issues, obstacles, challenges, their fears, their limited beliefs, and other things onto you. So you have to be very careful. Um, with this hesitation card, too, I'm also getting you want to yourself be... Um, be very wise in your decision making. Pick and choose your battles wisely. There's a lot of things that are going to... Um, appear to you as as real and true and it's not for many people you're still fighting you know against the enemy where yeah all of these beautiful things are here but that negative energy it still has to completely clear its 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 itself out um somebody wants a person to be sick and ill and and that's what i was saying earlier it's sort of like if a person can get you if, if they can affect your mind, they, they pretty much can, can dictate and control everything that you do. So you have here saving, um, mask, all right, and then blessing. Okay, so yeah, here, like I said, for some of you, you need to... It's like, somebody could be trying to save face right now. Um, with what just happened with the reading, I feel that there is a person out here, you know, that a lot of people in the collective are dealing with that is trying to save face someone here has done something in the dark that they shouldn't have done perhaps in hopes that they would receive something that they wanted they could have thought that they were going to receive some type of wealth or just something that they desire this person could for sure be like a tarot reader um or someone who watches a lot of tarot but someone here i feel has absolutely been desiring someone else's like gifts or their relationship you have here profession and apology i feel like someone here is um libation is here somebody here has possibly been making like some type of offering to someone someone has yeah someone is making an offering to whatever they're making an offering to and it's like they are making this offering in hopes of having your career life, your professional life, um, your spiritual life, your connection with your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your higher self, or whatever it is. Someone is wearing a mask. This is for sure like some type of shape-shifting type of energy. Um, you have a blessing coming though. And I feel like whoever this is in the background, they now are... 
whoever this is, they, they can't actually apologize to you because that would mean that they would have to actually admit their own guilt. But somebody here definitely, they made an offer, I feel, to... This person, what they're, what they're asking for is they want to be cloaked in invisibility, but this person also does a lot of sacrifices in order to shape shift so that they can um this person wants to gain a lot of access to akashic records and i feel that this person also is doing something i just heard a time hop is there like an app time hop or um there, there was an app that people used to use of course for booking flights and travel so whoever this person is the one who is trying to travel through time i don't this could be for some of you um, just take it however it resonates, but this is someone here who they could be a practitioner of some sort themselves, or this person connects to a lot of different people who are spiritual, a lot of people who um, are well-versed in several different tools of divination or several different healing modalities. Somebody here could be into like past life regression, hypnosis, or something like that. And I feel that a person here has... Um, done something where they're trying to travel back in time so it's, it's almost like a person is trying to travel back in time to figure out who you are or who you were to them or they're trying to go into your akashic records and into your past life also to figure out who are certain people to you in your life i don't know how this is happening but of course if, if you've ever had or done past life progression it can teach you a lot about your soul family you know your star seed family. it can teach you a lot of different things i feel like somebody here is doing some type of mind control or hypnosis where they are trying to travel back in time to find out who you were and what this person is finding out is that they're karmic they could say that you're karmic but this bully here it's like this person has tried to defeat you once before like in a previous lifetime is what i'm getting here in a previous lifetime for some of you you definitely could have with the fate and the profession card here you could have been in um a divine union either you or your person could have been like a priest or high priestess or like a fortune teller something like that because this eternal love card is here and i'm hearing right now and i'm i'm hearing whitney houston saving all my love i'm saving all my love for you so somebody is for sure going in to someone's like akashic records um using different what should be used is like healing modalities, perhaps hypnosis, um, some type of somatic healing, past life regression. This person is somehow trying to travel back in time to figure out who exactly is your person. It's like someone is fully aware of the fact that you are awakening and you are ascending into a new timeline or dimension where you're supposed to have this eternal love and there's an eternal love that has been like preserved for you it's it has been saved it's a blessing and you have this person it's a jezebel energy with wearing the mask here this person is creating chaos and conflict they're wearing different masks um energetically and they're doing different sacrificial rituals to gain this type of power and access so so somebody here in order for them to be a great fortune teller themselves this is someone here who could have been born with gifts but to enhance their gifts they utilize black magic and rituals and sacrifices to really amplify their power but see this person is sick in the mind this person has very poor mental health. And when this person is being advised, even a professional has advised this person that they need to stop doing certain things. They can't help it. I almost feel like somebody here, trigger warning, th this could be someone dealing with like paranoia, schizophrenia, um, bipolar disease or something like that. And they're, they're having these manic-like episodes is what I'm seeing where it's sort of like,
this person does this and then they feel bad about it. Somebody here could be dealing with like some type of addictions or they're under some type of influence. But I mean, this is definitely what this person wants to do. Also too, you know, I don't know how it works, but um, I, I guess people do. Um, there's different herbs that people use, I guess, too, for them to go on like these mind trips. Like what is the ayahuasca or doing mushrooms? Somebody here could be into something like that. And I feel like this person has gone on some type of trip. Look at this here. Death and nightmare. Somebody here, look at that. Look, look, look. You have death. You have the nightmare card here. And then look at this. What did I just say? Somebody here is um, doing some type of sorcery here where they are trying to, they're working with the dead. I don't know if they're trying to, if this is necromancy, if somebody here is trying to contact the dead, this, this person is contacting a bunch of people who have already passed over. You have the blind card here. Blind nightmare. Right. This yeah, this this person and, and it's I'm I'm hearing rites of passage. So commitment is here. This says contract obstruction and binding. See and, and it's very possible that this person has gone in the spirit and done something and now they have accidentally bound themselves to a very, very dark spirit. But see, this is perhaps what they had hoped that they would do to you. They, they hoped that they would send some type of dark spirit or entity out to torment you. And I feel that what has happened is someone has now gotten bound somehow to whatever dark energy it is that they sent out to you is what it seems like to me yeah loss this is very um interesting i just there's a a sign that I just picked up. There's a really small dog outside barking at a really big dog. And the big dog is just standing there. It, it looks almost like a little like baby chihuahua um, that's outside barking at this dog. And here you have loss and this person is holding a dog. There was really just a man outside of my window with a dog. And there's another little puppy outside barking at the larger dog. Um... Some of you, you may not know that this, I, I, I feel that whoever you are, you have to know that this is happening, but you are triumphant. You will have victory and success in this situation. But if you've been wondering, yeah, like somebody is trying to for sure cause like a natural disaster. I feel with this schedule here. Yeah. And then Fury, it's like somebody was trying to have you hurt. Or to sabotage something in your life before you could receive God's promise. And for some of you, this promise, it is um, a very significant relationship. But you see here pride. And this person has like this crown on their head. It's like you're, somebody wanted to take away your your moment of glory. Um, which for you, it, it's probably this eternal love. Or it's some type of growth or advancement in your career. Okay, this reservation card is here. Obviously, this person is like in love with this card. It's something here that you have that's coming in for you. You know, right now we have Jupiter and Taurus. We have recently had, you know, there was a full moon in Scorpio. There was the eclipse. There was um, Mercury retrograde. Now we have Jupiter and Taurus. And then um, it's only a matter of time before Saturn goes retrograde, but... Saturn, all of this karma came in and there's a lot of things that happened in the background. The most recent new moon, which was in Taurus a few days, there was a black moon. So all of the things that have been hidden are really, really coming out. But somebody here for sure had like some type of, look, strategy. Somebody here was trying to bribe a person. Someone here tried to make an offering to a person for sure. And it got them kicked out of your energy 
and it got them completely kicked out. But somebody went to perhaps like um, some type of dark priest or a, a cult coven or whatever to have some type of work done on you because they were trying very hard to block you from having the promise of perhaps a very significant relationship or you gaining some type of gift. Okay, there's, I, and I said this in the reading that I did post earlier that uploaded with no problems. Jupiter, th this Jupiter energy is bringing in for you sacred love, agape like love, higher levels of commitment, as well as a lot of financial breakthroughs. Um, but when you think about Jupiter, Jupiter is all about expansion. Good things are going to expand and then bad things are going to expand as well. So these people who have been bullying you constantly for whatever reason, they are going to deal with a lot of karma. And this is what they've been trying to block. But see, what these people have done is they ran themselves ragged at this point trying to block you from receiving something. And they, they really messed up because they don't realize that some of these people are losing a lot. Um, they, they're, they're failing. They're losing a lot. They're homeless or they will be homeless or suffering of great financial ruin because these people have gone so far as to try to bribe you or to bribe, um, other people to come into your life to blackmail you or whatever. And it's really sad because the people who are doing this to you are people who go out and they act like they are philanthropists and humanitarians and you know, it's, this is your favorite preacher, pastor, or whomever, but in actuality, these people are making some really, really, like, I don't, I don't know, like, th these people are making sacrifices. I'm just going to say what exactly what I see. See, there's something here that you take great pride in. You could take a lot of great pride in even having a very strong intuition but there's for sure been some type of ritual. And it's, I feel like somebody here could have been doing something against you. And it was a part of like, because I said it, rites of passion, rites of pa rites of, why am I saying passion? Somebody here has possibly been very passionate about an initiation because i'm trying to like i said passion twice i'm trying to say rites of passage it's like you have a you you're going through your rites of passage towards this expansion but somebody else is passionate about their initiation it's almost like you and someone else are having a face off because both of you are going through your rites of passage. It's an initiation. But someone here, while you are being initiated into this higher level of consciousness and a, a period of, of growth and expansion, this person, they came in to try and stop and block you so that you could be used as a sacrifice for them to be initiated in whatever it is that they want for themselves. This could be someone that you work with prof like professionally, or this could have been a teacher or a mentor, but this for some of you has for sure been someone around you that at some point you probably had respect for this person. This could be a family member, lover, friend, or whomever, but this person definitely had a plan. They had a strategy. And I just heard network. This person is a part of some type of network. But this person is very, very angry right now. They're furious about the fact that they could not make this work. Some of you, this person, if this is a um, feminine energy, especially this person was trying to do a lot of binding magic, perhaps on a masculine, so that this masculine would not be able to move forward because there's a masculine who wants to take great pride in offering this eternal love and this promise to a divine feminine. So this person here um, has just done a lot of magic. But see, self-love, self-love daydream idea and sweet dream is here. It's like two people are protected. 
This is a masculine. You see the masculine in both of these cards. He's daydreaming and having ideas and epiphanies. And this divine feminine is having sweet dreams because um, divine feminine is focused on self-love, healing, growth, uh, being at peace. Um, with these cards, I'm also there's a lot of um, like telepathy between two people as well. Looking here at the bottom of the deck is the care card. Yeah, there's two people who are being prepared for some type of union here. And somebody wanted to come in and disturb that and be like this dictator. For some of you, this is some type of, um, unfortunately, a hex, a curse, or an entity that dwells in your family, your bloodline, or the bloodline or family of your person. Because you have here um, marionette. But if you look, this is sort of like someone here being on on a string this is like some kind of domination or control spell you have family here and then disturbance and confinement somebody here has been trying to force a person to not move towards another part it's like they're protesting against this here um this could be a man who has like a mother figure a sibling or an ex spouse partner friend or someone else who is really doing a lot to try and block this person from moving forward, being in a new relationship. It's definitely like a Jezebel energy here, but there's perseverance. This man is still able to break out of whatever this binding contract is. Right now, it's absolutely best for Divine Feminine to be um, very much at peace. Like I said, pick and choose your battles um, wisely because there's a lot of chaos and conflict here. You need to not listen to everything that you hear or even believe everything that you see somebody is trying to trap a masculine so that they're unable to make a vow um of love commitment or this eternal love like i said to someone else and this is all a part of a curse somebody here is hexing and cursing someone in hopes that they can block a person from moving forward but see, this partnership is already safe because a person has withdrawn and has decided where they are going to offer um, a higher level of commitment, possibly even a marriage. Yeah. Somebody tried to steal something from this masculine. They tried to steal this masculine's dreams. But I feel like there's a masculine who decided to go with Anne and has learned the truth about this third wheel, this karmic energy here who has already been left out in the cold. This person is refusing to stop sending all of this conflict and this chaos towards this person because this person has chosen to go on a new journey and collaborate with someone else that will bring them justice. You have here friendship and calm. Someone here wants to go towards a very peaceful, calm situation. If this could be a friend's first situation or you and someone working together first, um, but someone is offering their help, their aid, their assistance in ensuring that someone receives good news. I feel like, um, honestly, what I'm saying is there could be a masculine here who has somehow, um, encountered or decided, decided to even pursue, or is just simply in the company of a person who embodies like a divine feminine energy. And this person is coming to realize they have evidence that they've been hexed or cursed by a very karmic energy. This person is living and learning, though, why they cannot go out and indulge in third party situations or whatever the case may be. Someone here has for sure learned their lesson about like third party situations. Um, but it's not every situation is not a person is lying, cheating, scheming and scamming. There are some people that when they move away from friends, family members, or even lovers, those people will never fully release them. Someone here is refusing to release someone who is moving in a new direction, going on a new adventure to just have peace. Someone here has, has become so upset and depressed and obsessed about a person moving forward that they now are committing crimes and doing a lot of very heavy um magic and someone here also is dealing with an addiction and this addiction can just be codependency but it's deeper than that this is an addiction to something that is altering the mind state of a person and putting them in a very um like this person's in the danger zone i feel because 
indulge you with this indulgence and stress card here someone also is going to a person for sure and they're seeking advice on how to perhaps spiritual attack someone because there's a masculine out here for sure a divine feminine and masculine here who they have a gift they have a new beginning there's a blessing here where someone is gaining something very beautiful there could be a child here a new business or whatever so you know before the reading that was corrupt this was the same message that was coming out i feel like spirit is allowing me to kind of let you know what's going on unfortunately i just it's not safe to reveal all of the details but just know that you know the goal is for someone to have security stability and have a home with you this person is ready to plant the seeds with you because they do remember who you are to them somebody was trying to alter the dream state like i said or go back in time um I don't know what what somebody is doing they're, they're playing with someone's memories like trying to erase the person's memories or it's deeper than that it's all like I said, it's, it's a lot of crown chakra manipulation somebody is sending someone some type of bad energy bad juju or some type of frequency to put someone in a certain state of mind where they it's easier for them to dominate or control a person unfortunately whoever this is they they have a lot of insight about who you and another person are to one another and they have come in and and been this wedge for a very long time but see what i am seeing also is that um whoever the divine feminine is here you perhaps have caused like an awakening for a masculine this person may not have known that this this distorted feminine energy in their life was so treacherous and wicked but they're learning now now i'm picking up a karmic feminine in this energy that's doing this this could be just a witch or a dark priestess that's doing this this person could have absolutely been paid though by the ex-lover of a divine feminine who could be a male there is a man who could have been paying someone to do this but again with this shapeshifter energy you it's very tricky because someone here could be for sure like a man but they are actually in a feminine energy just as a woman could be in a masculine energy when it comes to energy and tarot gender does not matter gender age sex none of that matters hmm. but somebody definitely is um hexing a curse and for some it, it goes a lot deeper than this it's something in the bloodline um of your family where you are being forced to battle whatever this entity or this principality is because you are getting very very close perhaps to some type of eternal love or like this really huge blessing there's a spiritual inheritance or a blessing that's here so just be very mindful look at this here you have glamour magic and hating on your spiritual and psychic gifts so i don't this says um learn to do mirror spells so somebody could be doing mirror work on you trying to project a lot of bad energies onto you or someone is also um I don't really know how glamour magic works. Um, when I think about glamour magic, I'm I'm seeing like the show True Blood and you know vampires they can glamour people into um, like if they do something really bad, they will glamour the person and so they can make it so that the person they don't remember something or they will see something good that's really bad. So this could be someone who is hating on your spiritual or psychic gifts and they're trying to glamour you someone here is possibly trying to make you appear to be something bad um like they want to to affect your auric energy they don't want people to see the beautiful aura or recognize the true essence of who you are as a person so they're trying to glamour you this also could be a person that's in your energy who is extremely manipulative very narcissistic very low vibrational and wicked who is trying to come around you and present themselves as if they are something that is the total opposite something that's you know a person who is kind-hearted and uh you know and that's just not the case so just be very careful you don't need to be in isolation because it makes it so much easier for the enemy to try to attack you when you are in when you're isolating yourself out of fear okay there's nothing wrong with being in isolation but never isolate yourself out of fear of your enemy if you want to isolate yourself to go within for healing introspection shadow work or, or personal development great 
Um, if you're protecting your energy, great. But don't ever hide from your enemy. Because when you hide from your enemy, you're telling God that you don't trust that God is your protector. Intimacy issues, STD, common infections, UTI, infertility. So as I said before, the person that is behind a lot of this, they could be a fire sign. But someone is doing a lot to cause you know, infertility. And with infertility, a lot of people, they're not interested in having children. But when I think of infertility, I just think of the divine feminine energy. Someone does not want you to have the gift and the ability right now to um, create abundance. You know, fertility is not just about you bearing children, but it's you being able to cultivate and curate a space where you can have your own harvest, whether you have it alone or with another person. But for some of you, someone is definitely working on your womb a lot because the womb, that's where the feminine is going to manifest from. All right. So this could be affecting, of course, it could be causing intimacy issues. Um, for some of you, the person that's doing this, they themselves could have a lot of intimacy issues, STD. We did have the illness card out here before. So this person could be dealing with a lot of issues. Um, whoever this person is, I'm picking up, they could for sure be a very low vibrational karmic distorted feminine energy. When people do not have a healthy, happy womb, that will be the reason why with that sacral energy, why there's intimacy issues, infertility, and other things such as that, um, it says here, this is a fire sign. It could be a fire sign that they have fire heavily aspected in the chart. This person could be trying very hard to cause you to miss some type of opportunity. Maybe this person is stalking you on social media a lot. This person wants you to live in in fear and be very paranoid. And you have here Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde ended, I think, on May 14th. Today is actually May 25th. But Mercury retrograde always has a pre-shadow and a post-shadow phase. Some of you, it, there's still some information that is coming out right now. It, it's like the post-shadow of Mercury retrograde. So there could be some type of your closest friend. So for some of you, this could be a, a friend, family member, or a lover. Okay, um, a co-worker is two-faced. This could be someone who you work with or you worked with in the past. Whoever this person is, for, and, and I want to say whoever this is that I'm picking up on, they do seem to be someone who um, could have some kind of spiritual or psychic gifts because they do have a lot of insight, a lot of information about what is happening in your life or what is to come in your life. Yeah, block the solar plexus chakra. This person has a problem with you being very confident and having the strength and the courage and the power within yourself to transform. They don't like your willpower. So this person could be doing things to cause you like body pain. Um, they're trying to block your third eye. You know, it, this person is just hateful when it comes towards your successful life choices. And they definitely could be trying to somehow get into your dreams to find out things. This person doesn't like your body. This is just like a real serious hater. Like this person doesn't like the way you look. They don't like your body. They want to block your sacral chakra. They don't want you to manifest abundance. Um, they don't want you to be fertile. They don't want you to motivate people. That Like this person is just really trying to put like, a, like this person wants you in a chokehold fire sign let me um see something here let me get another deck fire sign it does i mean it could be a fire sign for you it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign of course but they could have fire heavily aspected in, the, in their chart this person could also do a lot with fire magic in whatever way they choose to do that at the bottom of this deck is a death card all right this person could have fire leo aries sagittarius and scorpio heavily aspected in their chart Tell me about this person, please. Give me a few more details. The moon. Moon. The, this, the moon could be cancer. This is a person here who is... Um, this person loves to create illusions. And this person also loves to lurk a lot in the shadow. 
person is like your shadow. They're, they're always in the shadows. They're always lurking in your energy. The world card. I feel like you probably thought something was over with this person, but this person never stopped watching you, stalking you, or spying on you. And this person sending a lot of low vibrational negative energy towards you to make you feel very paranoid. Yeah, but the death card still came out. See, these illusions in your life, though, they this is coming to a complete end. And it doesn't really matter who this person is. This person does not outrank you spiritually. So they will face face and ending you have the empress here and then you have this fire sign the queen of wands so this is a queen of wands here who is constantly attacking a fire i'm sorry a divine feminine um you have the justice card in here twice can you believe that and then here's the devil card so the devil here has been caught yep whatever this person did to try and isolate you or to stop your growth or your healing they got out of control with whatever they did and they definitely made some type of offer to some type of low level entity or or the devil himself as they they offered you up as some kind of sacrifice but see you're you don't have to hide like i said the hermit you don't have to hide because you're already protected and here's a strength card you have very strong protection from a masculine energy here this could be a passed on loved one it could be a divine masculine who's protecting you in the spirit it could be you know, whomever, but there's a person of authority, whether here in this realm or in the spirit realm that is protecting you. You have some type of very um, divine, majestic power about yourself that allows you to go in, I feel like in and out between different realms if you need to, um, especially when someone is trying to sacrifice you. Someone here has a bridge between this world and the underworld. And it's like, if you need to retreat to either one, you have the power and the authority to do so, but you have double justices out here. It's two different justice cards. Okay. Sword up or down. And that's like I said with this um Jupiter being in Taurus, for some it's like things are being balanced out. For some, you're gonna be on the good side of karma. Other people are gonna be on the bad side of karma. But see, somebody for sure tries to offer you up to some type of entity here. And I just want to say again, like there could definitely be something in the bloodline where someone, you know, many, 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 many moons ago, they made some type of sacrifice and that contract was still open and you've had to defeat whatever this entity or, or whatever this is. But what this energy is, this energy is showing up for some of you in your current life now it's a past life karmic that's showing up in the form for some of you as like this fire sign, this Scorpio, Taurus, or whomever this person may be, Capricorn, Virgo. I don't really, I feel like this definitely could be a fire sign. This fire sign energy has been coming out for, for months. And here it came out, the Queen of Wands and the Empress together. For some, unfortunately, this could be a mother and daughter that's doing this to a divine feminine. For some of you, unfortunately, this could be your mother. Or this could be the mother of a person that you're connecting with or just a mother figure. Knight of Wands, more fire. See, something is happening very fast. This person here who has been sending different things out to watch you, monitor you, spy on you, attack you. Um, this is all coming to an end. I feel, again, too, with with projecting all of this fear and paranoia, somebody here, they're losing they're losing um they're losing their mind, honestly, because I feel like whatever they sent out towards you, they they're in a contract. This person is in a contract with some type of entity that they thought was going to come out and do their dirty work. Their entity cannot get to you. So now it's attacking this person. It's definitely attacking this person's body. The Queen of Cups is here. Wow. And the King of Cups. Wow. Look at this. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. And here's a temperance. So there's balance being um, granted or restored in a connection between two people who really love each other and somebody here literally like they, they're they're jumping to their own ending because everything that they did against you is blowing up 
God saw everything that this person did. You have God and the angels here who are bringing you and another person together. So whoever this Jezebel spirit is, whether it's a male or female, definitely is a, a fire sign though. King of Wands here. This person is receiving a lot of blowback for any and everything that they've ever done against you or this person. Heavy Sagittarius energy out here. The King of Wands, you have the Temperance here, the King of Swords, and the High Priestess. And this, this Temperance here is someone here who is fully in their power, as well as this King of Swords. Someone here has a lot of divine help, perhaps from like Archangel Michael. Somebody here is very much tapped in and protected. This King of Wands here, this could actually be this same person. This King of Wands for some of you is a person who's coming towards you. Um, they could be experiencing attacks because of this situation. You know, you can't get caught up on signs because the King and Queen of Cups is out here stating that there is a relationship between two people that is based on actual love. Okay, it's based on emotional fulfillment, true joy, happiness, peace. And contentment, it's an emotionally fulfilling connection here. But you have, now that I look at it now, this Queen of Wands, perhaps this fire sign person, doesn't have to be though. This person feels like someone is actually their counterpart who is not their counterpart. So therefore, this person has been attacking this divine feminine who most likely is this Queen of Cups, right? But see, this King of Wands is the same person I feel as this King of Cups. This King of Wands is the one here who is being spiritually attacked, perhaps by this wicked person and it's affecting this king of wands to the point that it's also affecting this divine feminine this divine feminine i feel is able to protect this person just as this person is there's a divine feminine and masculine who are able to protect one another in the spirit and you guys are also being protected by archangel michael Here's this divine feminine, the high priestess, and this masculine who is the temperance. Somebody here is very, very patient. They're very kind. Um, they know how to transmute energy very well. And then you have the high priestess here, someone who has a lot of sacred wisdom and knowledge. And then you have Archangel Michael here who was like, yeah, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. These two people are, are protected at all times by a whole gang of, of angels and God himself. And so when this person began to attack this divine feminine and whoever this masculine is, it, it was like all hell broke loose at that point. Because either there's a divine feminine who was aware that a divine masculine is being attacked and they are protecting that person. Or there's a divine masculine who knows that a divine feminine is being attacked and they're protecting this. I feel like these two people are protecting one another. And they may not even know each other, but these two people are protecting each other in the spirit because they're both going through spiritual attacks because of their divine contract and union. But see, if you look at this card, this king of wands, he's, he's suffering at the hands of whatever this fire sign person is doing in the background. This king of wands could be a masculine who has... Um, an ex-lover or spouse or someone, this person is very upset. Perhaps if this masculine is moving on to be in a relationship with someone who they actually could perhaps have a child with or children with. This person wants this part wants this fight wants this masculine, I'm sorry, um, to miss an opportunity. So someone here is trying to do everything to block someone's third eye. And their solar plexus. They don't want this person to have the willpower to move forward to be in a new connection. This is like the Black Widow Jezebel spirit. This person is willing to, at this point, hurt this divine masculine if they can't have this divine masculine to themselves. Yep, Queen of Cups. But see, the freedom lies with this divine feminine, this Queen of Cups. And this person is fully aware of that. And therefore, that's why they are trying to make an offer to the actual divine feminine. Somebody here has left a distorted, um, toxic, karmic feminine energy behind to go towards a person that they really want to be with. And this person in the background who's doing all of the spiritual attacking is upset because this masculine is holding back an offer. They held back an offer from this person. And this person really thought that if they received an offer from this masculine, that it was going to make them a star. It was going to make them chosen. It was going to make them divine. And it didn't. That's not what happened. 
this masculine could have been married to this person or proposed to this person or something like that or or for sure made a commitment to this person and now they're saying no i don't want that i don't want to go down that path in life there's a different journey this person wants to they've held an offer back for the true divine feminine these people keep coming out as a pair and here in the darkness is a death card and what did I just say? The Taurus, the new moon that was just in Taurus was a black moon. Okay? So that means that everything, if you, if you if you think about the moon being black, that means that every star and everything else in the sky is going to be illuminated. There was not as much stuff that was able to be hidden. Whoever this person is who keeps on watching this divine couple, okay, and, and trying to walk, work with some type of false god or entity to send these attacks to this divine feminine, they have been caught. Because what they did under the moon, which was to cause some kind of um, endings, it has been illuminated. See, once you know exactly who is sending these attacks, it, it doesn't, it's automatically null and void. Yeah, because somebody here was able to put their protection up just in time against this queen of wands. To fight for their actual divine union. <laughs> page of Wands. Yeah, this Page of Wands. This, this King of Wands here. Who is this divine masculine. This person had to quickly go through an ascension. They may not have known exactly what was happening. But they quickly had to jump into gear. Because their divine union. Their soul contract with this divine feminine was being destroyed by someone in their life or someone in divine feminist life however it resonates for some people it's you and a masculine you both you have people that are attacking you but there is a fire sign distorted toxic feminine out here that has it out for divine feminine because they so badly want to hold on to a masculine this could be someone here who is divorced But see, somebody, they felt like their offer from this masculine, it was going to bring them healing. It was going to make them a star. It was, you know, in the reading that I did that, I'm, I'm so sorry to you guys. Um, it wouldn't upload. Obviously, it uploaded. It was a, an hour and 45 minutes, I think. And it was so many details in there. But this could for sure be the story for someone here who is either currently a public figure or has a platform or in the future, you and the person that you connect with, you will have somewhat of a public life. You will be some kind of public figures of some sort. Um, very much like power couple. It's a royal divine like couple partnership here. And somebody felt like if they received the offer from this person that it was going to make them divine. Somebody was willing to sacrifice a divine feminine in order to somehow no longer be karmic i guess it's it's something like that like somebody had decided and it's really weird because what i'm getting is even looking at how their reading would not upload someone has been researching so much when it comes to the occult or watching tarot and they have a lot of misconceptions about how energy works somebody has invested a lot of time effort energy money and resources into trying to change something with divine contracts somebody is like oh well if i can be with the divine masculine who or divine feminine who has a very promising future then it's going to solidify my future as well Somebody literally feels like all they have to do is attach themselves to the right person for them to, like, it's their ticket out. Um, somebody feels like if they get with, like, a divine feminine or masculine, that it's going to free their bloodline. It's going to heal them. It's going to bring them, you know, all of this prosperity and abundance. And they don't understand that if you don't actually <laughs> have the the correct energetic frequency to match this person then you can't be in a divine contract these are contracts that were agreed to before people even came to this earthly realm and this person was honestly under the impression that they were going to somehow change 
whatever this divine contract is by cutting somebody else out. But they tried to cut somebody out who was a true divine feminine or masculine. This is crazy. Somebody really tries to use too much logic into something that's very, very spiritual. And it didn't work. Poverty and main female. This person who wants to be the main female is a person who perhaps comes from poverty. Their bloodline is cursed and in poverty. And this person thought that by trying to take the divine masculine of a true divine feminine, that they would somehow get themselves and their family out of poverty. This person is already in despair or they were hoping that this masculine will be in despair since this masculine decided to make a change to pursue a new courtship, a new life and have a new beginning. Somebody did not want this masculine to heal from any type of inner child issues, any type of past trauma. They want this person to be in a stuck cycle with them where they will be able to convince them to go into a union with them. I'm seeing for some, there's definitely a person here who could have been married or engaged to be married. And a masculine woke up and decided, no, that this was something that was not good for them. And now you have your bad health and, and um, death in the community here. So there's a masculine here who will be or is already a wealthy man who is putting an end to these connections to people from their community that is causing bad health, death, or destruction in their life. Or this person has just become aware of the fact that someone has been trying to block them. And this is a person that is in their friend group, in their circle, in their community that has been wishing bad things on their life so that they cannot move forward. Yeah, you have your wealthy man, a person of high honor, and behind it you have the lady in red, this fire sign feminine energy here. This person had a lot of plans. She was determined to make this man her main male so that she could marry for money. Somebody here wanted to marry someone for money. And you know what's so funny to me is in this reading for some, whoever this masculine is right now, they may not even have money. But someone here is aware of what someone is going to become in the future for some this is a wealthy public figure right now for some that's who they're destined to become and this person was after money they thought that they were going to receive some kind of unexpected income that they were going to transcend their class by marrying someone that's what i, I mean about understanding how to truly assess and evaluate what it means to be a person of value or of high value because someone here felt like if they were to marry a particular person from a certain caste or creed that it was going to take them out of poverty it's going to change their life and it was just going to free them in their entire bloodline but what they don't realize is that they actually cursed their entire bloodline because they chose to Literally do wound magic, death magic, and so many other things um, to work against some someone else. And with this energy of, you know, Saturn being here and Eclipse and everything, this person literally has just cast themselves out for good. Somebody here has cursed their entire bloodline for trying to do this because they really thought that because th this person was acting out of ego. This was this isn't about love. Somebody here was like, listen, that somebody saw someone else as their ticket, their meal ticket out. And it is something about this energy where some people, someone is already wealthy, they could already have power, influence, and be a person of affluence as well. But for some of you, like I said, it's a person that's looking into someone's future and they feel like if I get that person, then perhaps I can become a person with great power and influence you know this could be someone wanting to marry into a particular family or whatever the case is and it didn't work out that way instead this person has destroyed themselves and their entire family this could be someone who their family depends on them a lot and they thought well hey if i you know if i get in a certain family or i make certain money or go into certain you know contracts and agreements with people i i'm gonna help a lot of people no that's not the case 
This person was ignoring the fact that they were going to receive a lot of karma, double karma, the justice card being out here twice for all of the things that they've done in the dark to try and gain something out of ego. Wow. Well, I mean, hey, everyone lives and learns, but I feel like this person, for all of the things that they've done, you know, and Taurus and Scorpio are opposites. It's something in here for sure about this recent Taurus moon. I feel like somebody did something recently and it's it's backfiring in the worst way because of the energy that we're dealing with right now. I really don't know why people are are the least bit even comfortable or confident about doing magic against anyone at this time because the the energy that we're in right now you cannot and you will not get away with trying to hurt anyone that's innocent, especially children. And these people have done a lot. Um, you, you have a family generational curse. Yeah. Their social media posts, the means are directed towards you. Unexplained freak accident, misery loves company. It says you already know who this person is. This person is doing root work, sending you insects, snakes, blackbirds. Yeah. Well, you know who this is. If this isn't happening directly to you, if it's happening to someone you're connected to, they know exactly who this person is. That's very much obsessed with causing these endings. And this is something that somebody was doing in the background. But see, now that Mercury is going direct, any of their communication and the things that they were doing and trying to hide, it's all coming out. Nothing is, nothing. you know, yeah. Somebody here could have been trying to cause someone to have a freak accident in a car or just causing someone to have delays and issues. You know, like with me today, my how the video uploaded, there was no audio. This is anything to try and block you. Someone hating on your successful life choices, trying to block, you know, your clairvoyance, you having any type of clarity or being able to see the truth in a lot of situations, especially when they are constantly casting illusions. This is a narcissistic person. This could for sure be a narcissistic feminine energy here. This person can't create anything on their own. There's, their sacral chakra is completely blocked. And therefore, they are harvesting the energy of someone who is divine. But this person doesn't like your body. This, this person is just very jealous and envious. This is also someone who, like I said, they could have issues with infertility or just issues with their reproductive organs. Possibly even like an STD for some of them. I had a reading um, before I went on my little hiatus where I was saying somebody literally is upset because they want to be with a person, but they can't be because maybe they have um, an STD or some type of health issue, an incurable disease that where now they can't actually conceive a child, you know, so this person is miserable. They want you to be miserable too. And I feel like this person already knows that they can't actually make this person come back to, to them. So now they're just trying to cause hell in this person's life or whoever this person is connecting with. 